As a public speaker, you need to learn how to overcome stage fright. Some people, when they get on stage, they are shivering, they're shaking your voice, nervousness will set in. And if you don't learn how to overcome that, that may be a problem and a barrier to your public speaking. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa, and I'm a public speaking coach. In today's video, I am going to take you through one or two things that you can do when you are on stage to overcome your stage fright. So number one is that recognize the fear and uh, recognize why you are afraid of the stage. Recognize what type of actions that you go through while you are on stage. Are you shivering? Are you shaking? Is it your voice? Is it that your legs are moving so fast? Is it that you can't see the audience? Is it that you lose focus? whilst you're on stage. So the number one thing is to identify why you are afraid, the roots of your fear. And once you're able to identify that, you are on your way to solving that. If it is that some people, once they get a microphone, they are shaking. If you know that you are one of them, then you can help yourself. Number two is that you need to develop a growth mindset. Just know that public speaking is all about growth. Public speaking is all about creating opportunities for your next presentation. And if you know this, you are on your way to become a great speaker. Develop the mindset of positivity, develop the mindset of growth, and develop the mindset to let you know that you, once you are on stage, you are good and you are good to go. The third thing we want to talk about is you need to practice visualization. Visualization helps when you are speaking, you are in front of people and uh, you need to project that you are going to win. You are going to win. So keep projecting that, projecting that you are a winner. People are going to like your presentation. You are going to be great. You are going to create opportunities and you are going to do more. So the more you visualize, the more it helps you to grow. The more you visualize, the more it gives you your self-confidence back. The more you visualize, the more it puts you in the picture of what you are doing. So for example, if you want to go and speak and you start visualizing, seeing the people thanking you, enjoying your words, taking autographs, you just sit down, you are meditating, you are visualizing, you are seeing into the future. And this helps, it helps you to program your mind, to let your mind know that you are going to win. Whether your mind likes it or not, you have already won in your mind. So once you go to see the audience and you start to speak, because you've already won, you are going to win in reality. So when you practice visualization before you go on stage, it's going to help you. And there are a lot of techniques that you can use to visualize or to practice visualization. One is just sit quietly and put yourself into the picture. Two is that you can even walk with you. There's a beach around, you can walk around close your eyes sometimes see all the good things that are happening a lot of ways that you can visualize and if you learn them you are going to do more the fourth or fifth one is to practice breathing exercises the more you breathe whilst you're on stage and you lose focus if you learn to breathe in and breathe out you can become a good speaker because pressure is making you feel afraid there's fear there's heat in your body there's fear and that's why you shake that's why you shiver that's why you feel like you have a running tummy that's why your voice is giving up that's why you're just shaking so the technique is to breathe in and breathe out but if you are holding a microphone don't do that too heavy some people because i say they should breathe in and breathe out they go <sighs> no take your time breathe in don't let the audience know that you are doing this exercise Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and the more you keep on doing this, the more you create opportunity for yourself to release the pressure in your body, in your tummy. Whatever your pressure is coming from, you re release that. That bad energy, you need to release it and take in new energy. So breathing techniques can help you to become a good speaker. And also focus on connecting with your audience. Whilst you're on stage, you can overcome stage fright when you focus on connecting with your audience. What we are doing is all about your audience. You speak into your audience. 
you want them to enjoy your presentation you want them to benefit from your presentation so you need to focus on connecting with them i.e it could be before your presentation you go around and shake your audience talk to them it could be once you are speaking you ask them questions you relate with them you smile with them and it all helps you to overcome your stage fright above all the moment you take on the stage you need to learn one thing which will help you and that is the power to connect and use your body language your body language can also help you to overcome your stage fright you can see the way you lift up your hands if there's pressure and you're shaking at one side try to move around try to disperse your eye contact if there are people you don't like don't look at them look away look at someone else look at people who are smiling and once you do that you will see that you are connecting with your audience and you are using your body language if you are standing at one place and you are shaking you are shivering move the more you start to move a little the more the, the pressure will release from you if you are also standing at a podium and you feel like you are over shaking take yourself away a little and try to do some movements Try to put some action into your words and try to do more. This and many more are ways that you can learn to overcome your stage fright. My name is Ibrahim Mustafa. Follow me on uh, Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. You can find me on TikTok. But then importantly, this is YouTube, right? Follow me on YouTube. Thank you for your time. I believe in you and I believe that you can speak in public of power, of confidence, or of precision. Let's follow each other. Let's do more. Watch my next video and let's do more. I appreciate it. Thank you.